The next thing we're going to do is add in our windows. And if you look um, in your file here, you can see that we have a few different sized windows um, in this drawing, but it should have all of the um, measurements for where to put them on your handout. And I'm going to go through step by step which window is in each room. So the first, um, we're going to start on the left side here. And what I like to do when I'm placing a window is just draw a line that goes to the midpoint of the window, and then I can place the window based on the midpoint. So if I scroll into the left side here where my garage is, I'm going to draw a line straight up, and I'm going to make sure I have ortho turned on, and the distance I'm going to put in is 9 foot 4. Then I'm going to hit enter twice. And this is going to be a 3 foot window. So I'm just going to take my 3 foot window here, copy it over to this area and then I'm going to rotate it. So if I select it and type RO enter, click and drag straight up, now it's going in the right direction. Then I'm going to take my window and I'm going to move it so that the midpoint, the top midpoint is on the end of that line and then I can click my line and delete it. Then I'll move up to this part of the plan and we have another um, window over in this area which is also going to be three feet um, and we're going to draw a line that's 14 foot 4 so L enter click the end point 14 foot 4 hit enter twice I'm going to grab my three foot window again and copy it I'm going to grab it from the midpoint because where I grab it from is where I'm, it's going to place on the drawing then I'm going to click the end of that line hit enter and then I can delete that line Now my next window is going to be a 2 foot 3 inch window. So I'm going to draw a line from this point and I'm going to come over um, 2 foot 2. That's where the center of the window is going to go and I'm going to grab my 2 foot 3 inch window, copy it, grab it from the top midpoint and snap it to the end of that line. And then I can delete that line. Now my next window, I don't actually have to get the dimension for it. Um, I know it's a three foot window, so I'm going to grab it, but it's going to be centered on the sink. So if I just copy it, grab the midpoint, snap that to the midpoint of the sink, I'm going to know it's in um, the correct location. Now to place my next windows, um, I'm going to have three in a row here and I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint of this window to where the midpoint of my next window is going to be, which is going to be eight feet. So if I type L enter, click the midpoint, drag to the right and type in eight feet and hit enter twice. Um, and these are going to be two foot ten windows. So I'm going to select it, CO enter, click the top midpoint and then I'm going to snap it to the end of that line and then I just can copy it over twice because I know that they're all going to be in a row like that. Now I can delete my reference reference line. Um, and then our last window here will start from the other side of the plan. So if I draw a line from um, that point And I'm going to come to the left, six foot four. And that's where the center of my window is going to go, and it's going to be a three foot window. So I know this was a three foot window, so I'm just going to copy that one. Or you can grab it from down here, so that's easier for you. Grab the top midpoint, and then I'm going to snap it to the end of that line. And then I can delete this reference line. My next window on the side here, I'm going to come down six feet and it's also going to be a three foot window. So I can grab my window, copy it, and then rotate it. RO enter, click, drag straight up, click again, and then I'm going to move it so that the midpoint snaps to the end of that line. Now my next window from the midpoint of this window to the next is going to be 8 feet. And then I am going to, it's going to be a smaller window, a 2 foot 3 inch. 
So I'm going to copy that over here and then rotate it. RO enter, click, drag straight up, and then move it so that the midpoint is on the end of that line. And then I can delete my reference line. Now I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint, come down 5 foot 5, and it's going to be another 2 foot 3 inch window, so I can grab this one and copy it, and then delete my reference line. Now my next window, I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint straight down 9 foot 7, and then this one's going to be a 3 foot window, and I know that this window was a three foot so I can copy that one grab it from the right midpoint and then snap it to the end of that line delete my reference line and then from that one I'm gonna come down uh, six foot five and copy that window down again and then I can delete my reference line Now on the bottom here, I'm going to have two three-foot windows, and I want to center them on these rooms. So if I grab my three-foot window, copy it, grab it from the midpoint, and then snap it to the midpoint of that line, and that line, and hit enter. Now on the side here, I'm going to draw a line that comes straight up, um, four foot eight, and I'm going to grab one of my two-foot windows copy it, and then rotate it, RO enter, click and drag straight up, and I can select it again and move it so that the midpoint is on the end of that line. And I'm going to have two two-foot windows straight in a row, so now I can copy it up like that. Then I'm going to have a three-foot five-inch window, so I'll copy this one over, rotate it, And then I will have one more two foot window after that. And now I'm going to move into this wall here. And I'm going to draw a line from here that comes over two foot ten. And that's where the midpoint of my first window is going to go, which is going to be a two foot window. So I will copy it to that point. Then I will have a 3 foot 5 window. And then I'll have another 2 foot window after that. And then I can delete my reference line. Now that we have all of our windows in, we are going to add a few more fixtures and then add in our room names before we put in the ductwork. So we're going to take this block right here, our refrigerator, and we're going to move it to the end of the counter. And then we're just going to grab the line for the edge of our counter and we're just going to drag it back to that point. So now we're going to adjust our text height and then we'll be able to add um, our text into our rooms. So if you click the annotate tab at the top here, the third one over to the right, and click this tiny little diagonal arrow next to text, we're going to change the text height here to 7 inches. Then you can hit set current and close. So now we're going to go back to the Home tab at the top here, and if you click this white A right here, that's going to be our text button. And then we'll just click on our screen, drag and click again. That's going to make a text box. And then in all capital letters, we're going to name this Garage. And then we'll do that same thing in here, and we'll always use all capital letters. This is going to be laundry. This area here is labeled as kitchen. I 
family room. Dining. Bedroom. Bath. And then we can copy this bath into this bathroom. Then we have two more bedrooms, so we can just take this text, copy it down. Bedroom, bedroom. Then we have living room. and foyer. So the next thing we're going to do is add in what's called a leader and a leader is an arrow with text attached to it and we're going to show that on the stairs here if you look on your handout you can see the stairs are going down so we need to label that. So if you click the annotate tab the third one over to the right and then you look over here where you see leaders you're going to click the tiny little diagonal arrow next to leaders and then hit modify and under leader form format you want the arrowhead size to be seven inches and then if you go to content the text height should already be seven inches because we adjusted that um, to label our rooms so then you can hit ok and close and then go back to the home tab and this little button right here is going to give you your leader so if you just click on it click on the stairs make sure you have ortho on drag up and click and then you're just going to put in a capital dn for down 